you go. Um, oh, they look yummy, don't they? All packed with bran, nuts and blueberries, which are a superfood. We love superfoods, don't we? Hey, these are for Chesney. His diet's appalling. I was quizzing him about it the other day. What's that got to do with you? Paul has neglected some sort to keep an eye out for him. You've got three boys of your own, you know. Yeah, but if I drop these round, I can check on whether he's going to school or not. So now the school Bobby as well, are you? I'm just trying to be a caring neighbour. And I'm sure you can make do with three of them buns. Come on, Josh, come on. Just had some gin on the flats. Looks like we're still in with a shout, eh? Yeah, great. What are you doing standing here, anyway? She's waiting here for Gail. Hopefully she's supposed to say her by now. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you think I'm fat? Stocky, maybe. Stocky? Yeah, well built. But it's all muscle, though. Isn't it? Bang! Bang, bang, bang! You're dead, huh? No. I'm wearing body armour. And this is an Uzi. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, I brought you these. Oh, ta. Is it all right if I come in? Uh, of course, yeah. Kurt, supplies. We're commandos, and this is a war zone. Oh, it certainly looks like a bomb, is it? Oh, thanks. We didn't go to any special effort or out. It's not something to be proud of, Kirk. This is disgusting. Just needs a bit of a tidy round, that's all. A tidy round? This place needs fumigating. It's a health hazard. Is that a mouse trap? Uh, yeah, but they don't really like the bait we give them. I'm surprised any self-respecting rodent would come anywhere near. And what's happened to your arm? I burned it doing the ironing. Doing the... Kirk, can I have a word with you in private, please? Yeah. I've been worried about Chesney. Chesney's fine. If you want to live in filth, then that's your choice. But this... This is not a fit environment for a 13-year-old boy. And why isn't he at school? It says he don't feel very well. It's probably the onset of diphtheria. Honestly, Charles Dickens couldn't conjure up such squalor. I mean it, Kirk. He needs proper care. He's a little boy. I do my best. It's not easy on me old. I know you do. And if you need any help, you know where I am. Don't worry. I'll sort it out before Fizz gets back. No, today. Promise me you'll clean this place today. I promise. Hey, Gail. Did you speak to Sarah? Sorry, Jason. She told me not to give you her new number under any circumstances. No. Morning. Morning. Hello. I can't believe I'm not allowed to have a number. Well, she does have a reason. Yeah, we'll do us a favour when you speak to her. Ask her what's the point in being married. Don't shoot the messenger. I haven't shot anyone, Gail. For what it's worth, I think she's been unreasonable, but you know what she's like. Yeah. Hey, no peeking. I wasn't. You sure? Yeah, I'm pouring coffee, look. Actually, maybe it's time I let you in on it anyway. Yeah, and what? Something I've been cooking up for a while now. Well, I wasn't desperate to know five seconds ago, but now I am. All right. I'll tell you. Or better still, I'll show you. What are you doing for lunch? Depends where you're taking me. Royce. Oh, wow. Are you sure we're going to be able to get a table at such short notice? Don't worry. All will become clear. Mmm. Ironing! He's 13. It's not good, is it? It's downright dangerous, that's what it is. Anything could happen to him. Somebody's got to do something. Like what? I don't know. But if I was a little boy living in filth... Don't upset ..living yourself. in squalor, then I'd want someone to keep an eye out for me. And you are doing. What you've said to Kirk, he's bound to have told me to shame him into action. I hope you're right. I really do. How'd she like it if we went round her house and started slagging it off? She is right, though. I have let it get bad. It's my mess, too. Yeah, but you're just a kid. I promised Fizz I'd look after you. And she's right. You've got to go back to school, Ches. I will. 
Today. I can't go in the middle of the day. Well, tomorrow then. Okay. I'm gonna go out and buy a load of cleaning stuff. Give this place a proper scrub. I'll help you if you like. I'm gonna get some proper food in as well. A chicken or a steak. I can't afford steak. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Of course I can, what time? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Bye. I've got a job interview. Have you? At a kennels near Berry. Do you want to see me this after? Oh, get in. Do you want me to come with you? No, you stop here. I'll have to leave the cleaning till I get back. Hey, but if I get this job, we're definitely having steak. Oh, of course you'll get it. You're brilliant with dogs. I am so happy you're back, Ray. Yeah, well, it's all about eating what I want, going to bed whenever I want, unlimited access to my computer. Got me down after a bit. Mm. And living the life of Riley at our Liam's, then. Yeah, I felt like I was in the way a bit, though. Oh, what are these? Oh, that's Alex's nut-free cereal. Nut allergy? He's just a fussy eater. Look, I know you don't like him, but he's gone now. There's no need to feel threatened. It's all right, I'll have toast. In fact, I will go and do a big shop this morning, so if there's anything you want me to get in... I don't need any special treatment. Oh, go on. When you come home for your tea tonight, I'll cook you a steak. It has to be sirloin. Liam only ever bought sirloin. Mmm, I bet. So, I get the number eight bus into town, then the tram into Berry, then the number D6 to Clee Farm. Do you want me to write it down? No, it's all right. I can remember. I'm dead nervous. Oh, you walk it. Come on. Look at that. It promised. Do you want salad cream, ma'am? Oh, uh, have you got any of that low-calorie stuff? Ah. You never slim him. Oh, no, Bill is, so I said I'd give him moral support. I made a joke about his beer gut and he took offence. <laughs> he says he's going to be the world's first size zero builder. He used to get some in for Sarah. Another one who didn't need to lose weight. Oh, no. Oh. I do miss her, you know, don't you? I was on the phone to her for an hour last night. Well, there's a bit left. Not sure if it's past its sell by day. Oh, I know how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> so how's Bethany enjoying it, Tilla? I spoke to her. She loves it, bless her. Then I felt awful afterwards. Why? Well, here I am, practically encouraging Tina to have an abortion. I mean, when it was Sarah, I... Sweetheart, it's totally different circumstances, that. Change the subject. Uh, anyway, I did. I said... Yes, I admitted he should lose a couple of pounds and I'd die it with him. I wish I'd get my mouth shut now. <laughs> oh, is any of those butties going? Yeah, of course there is. Can I have thin chips from mistake tonight? You can have whatever you like. Hmm. Only one son to worry about. Might as well spoil him, eh? You're still worried about Alex? My trouble is, I want it all my own way. You can still see him. <laughs> that chance. Look, what he said was in the heat of the moment. I'm sure if you got in touch with him, he'd be thrilled to hear from you. You think so? I'll put money on it. Go on, call him. Anything else? Vicky? No, i best get back to work. Or else the boss will be on me back. <laughs> I'll be over in a minute. All right. You know, you've both been very nice to me today. Nice, cos we love you. Yeah, I got. <laughs> Hate lying to him. Yeah. Tina's coming round this afternoon. Um, I said I'd go with her to the clinic tomorrow. Oh, well, that's good. Should be her own mother going with her. Yeah, I of course it should, we know that. But if she doesn't want her parents to know... I'm doing what I have to, for David's sake. Doesn't mean I'm proud of it, ma'am. Look, Gail, you've given Tina 
Good advice. Damn good advice, if you ask me. I doubt if David would see it like that. Hello, I'm Andy Partridge from Social Services. That guy's jam really poorly is to die for. The only person dying around here is me of suspense. Come on. Nine months from now. That'll be one of the most sought-after residential developments in Manchester. <laughs> oh, I know. See, because I've got a complaint, I kind of sneaked a look in your briefcase. Yeah, I should come clean too. I deliberately left it open. Oh, you! <laughs> Twenty lakhs, including two penthouses. Well, in that case, you're forgiven. I'm investing in the mops. Oh. Blimey, you don't do things by halves, do you? Liam! Yeah? Uh, that's not a problem. I'm just round the corner. All right? That was Liam. Wants me to pop round, look at the new line. Oh, I'll come with you. If, of course, it's not compromising your working relationship with Liam. You know what? I thought... I kind of thought you were... What? You might be flat hunting, you know, for you and me. Yeah, that would be terribly presumptuous of me, wouldn't it? And romantic. Because, you know, penthouses can be a, a girl's second best friend. Oh. If they turn out well enough, maybe. I've got first refusal. There's nothing to worry about. Just need to have a little chat. Can I ask you a few questions, OK? Yeah. It's Chesney Battersby Brown, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. A colleague of mine came to see you a couple of years ago when you were adopted by your stepdad, Les. Right, yeah. Is your dad at home today? No, he's not. He's at work. Mm. And your mum? She's at work as well. Oh, I see. Where do they both work? Is it somewhere local? It's fairly local, yeah. Have you got a phone number for either of the workplaces so I can get in touch with them? Uh, I haven't actually, no. Mm. Only as you're 13. You are 13, aren't you? Yeah. Your parents shouldn't really be leaving you on your own like this. Something might happen to you. I'm not on my own. I've got Schmeichel. There's loads of people looking after me. Honest. Pretty, I think. Mm, they've turned out better than I thought. Yeah, very nice. Still, still. What's your handiwork? Uh, yeah. Total botch job. Look at the stitching. Let me see. Cal. Sorry, Mr. Connor. If you can't sew straight, you're in the wrong game, love. Yeah, all right. Well, you're not my boss. Yeah, uh, I'm everybody's boss. Are you thick as well as blind? You can't talk to me like that. As long as he writes the checks, he can talk to you how he wants. I shove them in the reject bin and concentrate. Don't talk to my staff like that. She was asking for it. Yeah, and she'll get it from me. If you want to roll at me, that's fine. If you want to roll at my staff, you're going to have to buy me out. Well, you think they're selling your share of the business, then, don't you? The mood I'm in, Tony. If the right offer came along, I'd probably take it. I know there's been problems regarding your childcare in the past. What I said before, my mum and dad, they work away a lot. Hey, you don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. I'm not a policeman, and you're not in any trouble. They work abroad, but they come home when they can, and they ring up all the time, and send letters and money and presents. So when did you last see either of them? My dad works away a lot. He manages status quo. Huh? And my mum's living the dream. Works in Vegas. We're all gonna live out there when I'm older, in a massive house with a swimming pool. But at the moment, Neither of them are here on a day-to-day -day basis. I've got my sister first. She helps out. Ah, oh, great. Can we get hold of her? She's on holiday at the moment. I see. But Kirk should be home by now. Kirk? My sister's ex-boyfriend. Oh, brilliant he is. He looks after me mainly. So, Kirk's not actually related to you then? No, but he looks after me really well. So where is he now, do you know? He's gone for a job interview. Oh, he should be back by now. Do you have a contact number for him? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's mobile. I'll ring it now. Is it okay if we have a little look around the house? 
Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, need to tidy them, though. We were gonna do it tonight. Oh, out of signal. Uh, I'll leave a message. Doesn't want to know me. Give it time. Ryan's back. Hi, love. What have you got there? Nothing, just the stuff Nick gave me. All right. Any joy? Answer phone. I've already left four messages. You sure you're not normally left on your own like this? Kirk's always here. He's like a dad and a best mate all rolled into one. I think you're spending a lot of time at home on your own. No. Wait till he gets here. He'll tell you. How did you hurt your wrist? I burned it on the iron. You're very self-reliant, Chesney, I can see that. But I'm worried. I can smell burning. The chips! No, 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 not let me! Okay, I'm gonna make a phone call now, Chesney. And we're gonna arrange for somewhere else for you to stay, just for tonight. No! You're not safe here, Chesney. This house could have burned down, we you inside it. I'm not going into care. It's my job to make sure you're safe. Where's Kirk? We'll keep trying to get hold of him, but if he don't come back, we'll just leave him a note. Two hours to get there. No one even see me. Shocking. They said, if I can't get to an interview on time, how am I going to get to work? Oh, look. Your look's going to change soon, I can feel it. How much is that? Sorry, er, uh, £12.30. Oh, and a £10 top up for my phone. Mm. It ran out when I was on my way there. <laughs> That'd be £22.30 then. Right. Oh, Kirk, it's all right. You can hold me. It's all right. Thanks. Come on. You all right, mate? Don't ask. Well, what's up? I'm a loser. Hey, no, you're not. Come on. I can't even get a job in the kennels. It's all I know. Well, why don't you come and have a pint with your Uncle Tyrone, eh? Go on, then. Just one. What's happen now is the police are gonna come. Well, that's just a formality. Like I say, you're not in any trouble. And I'll be coming with you. No, please. We'll be going over to Neil and Marjorie's house. They're very nice people. What about Schmeichel? I can't leave him in the house on his own. Oh, the dog, yeah. Um, we better organise somewhere for him, too. You're taking Schmeichel into care? It's just a temporary measure until we sort things out. I'm sorry. I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. I'm scared. I need to talk to somebody. Right, there you go, mate. Two tickets to false. Nice one. Cheers, thanks for these. I mean, she's going to be well made up. Is that her in the kitchen? Yeah. What's she doing around here now? How's your day been? Oh, flaming awful. Really? Once you start telling yourself that you can't just eat whatever you want, why do you just get hungrier? I'm sat there, dinner time, eating my bacon bar, no butter. Jason's eating a pie, gravy running down his chin. Oh, don't torture yourself, Bill. I didn't. I went and got one, with chips, and a cake afterwards. Good for you. And then I felt awful. I mean, where's my willpower? Well, if it's any consolation, I had a most wonderful custard slice this afternoon. I mean, David bought a whole box in, it would have been rude to say no. Yeah, but it's all right for you. 
You don't make her lose weight. Oh, come on. Neither do you, really. But you said that was... Yeah, I know, and it was a daft joke. Sweetheart, it's not like you're some youngster trying to fit in all the modern fashions, is it? Anyway, I like my men with a bit of beef on them. I like you the way you are. Yeah? Yeah. Right. I'm going to dump this dreadful diet thingy and get myself a proper pint. Good for you. And get yourself some scratchings while you're at it. Come on, live dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, lad. We'll take good care of him. Come on, boy. I'll come and get you as soon as I can, Mike. Come on, son. Me, Chess. Chess. And we return to Weatherfield in half an hour. Kirk, are you all right? They've took him. The socials took him. Well, we can't have. What did they say? I don't know. I wasn't here. I suppose he came round, found Ches on his own, looked at the place. I told you to clean up. I was going to. I'd got rubber gloves a lot. If he hadn't gone for a pint. You've been in the pub all afternoon? No. It was just a quick one, honest. Where were you then? An interview over Berryway. I thought, if I got a job, everything would be OK. What am I going to do? Uh, go inside. Stick the kettle on. I'll fetch Maria. There's been a misunderstanding. We'll sort it out. Well, we they even touched Michael. They don't trust me to mind a dog, let alone a kid. I'm taking the day off tomorrow, so um, if you want to meet up early. Well, it's not till one. No, but I thought if you didn't want to spend the morning on your own. It's fine. I may as well get used to it. It's going to be years afterwards. You mustn't punish yourself. You haven't done it easily or thoughtlessly. No. But it still amounts to the same thing, doesn't it? Anyway, um, I'll come round for about 12 then, shall I? Well, I thought it might be better if we meet up in town. Best chance of bumping into. Catch up later. Okay. Oh my, this looks cosy, doesn't it? Since when were you two bosom buddies? Well, we like to chat now and again. Yeah? yeah. And what do you chat about? 50 Cent? Ja Rule? Or is it Countdown and Bad Feet? Well, you like us to be friends, don't you? Uh, no. Actually, I couldn't think of anything worse. No, you should be talking to people your own age. Give Blanche a knock. Hey! What are you for? Well, you start. First you talk about me behind my back. Now you're ganging up on me. She'll have you hiding my Xbox next. Come on. Well, what is my wife's phone number? Is that too much to ask? Well, if Sarah doesn't want a mum giving it out, yes. She tried direct inquiries. Can't be that many grim shells in the Milan telephone book. That's what she's calling herself. Anyway, it's a mobile number. You tried her place of work? Yeah, I tried. She's got some beer babbling on rubbish to me. <laughs> That'll be Italian, mate. 
Good job you didn't emigrate after all, eh? Is it? So much going on, Bill. I've seen Gail and Audrey talking. Every time I go near, they zip up. Gail's not telling me for a reason. Like what? New man. I've seen them Italian blokes, all tight trousers and moisturiser. You're all over her. You don't know that. You know what Gail does. Hey. There's always shit out to you. What? To me? Lad in that family, blood's thicker than water. And you're thicker still if you think I get told anything. Ryan's settling in all right, is he? He flipping should be. He's had the red carpet treatment since he got back. I'll try living at yours myself. Uh, I'm just glad to have him home. Oh, it wasn't too much better. No way. It was great to have another lad in the house, wall to wall footy, all week. Oh, Maria must have been thrilled. Uh, well, I'm getting her into it slowly. I made her put on a city top last night and we sat watching a load of kinky DVDs. We were up and down on that sofa all night. You should borrow some, Steve. Uh, well, we're not really into that kind of thing. Not that I'm a prude or anything, but... Kinky's George, you can clads in the old city play, you fool. <laughs> yeah, of course it is, I know. It's just I never really made it, in, you? Yeah. Social services don't just turn up. They did today. No, what I'm saying is someone must have tipped him off. Do you think it could be the school? It don't matter who he was. I've got to find the number for Fizzy's hotel. Let her know. Well, what about mobile? It don't work out there. Oh, hi, Roy. Thanks for coming over. Not at all. I wish it were under happier circumstances. Are you all right, mate? I've got the number of Fizzy's hotel and a bit of paper. We help us look for it? Yeah, of course. Well, I knew he was struggling, but I had no idea it had come to this. No, me neither. The question is, what do we do now? I know that you've had dealings with these people. Yes, I, and it is very unusual for them to actually remove a child from the home, even in this situation. It's a flaming outrage. It's social all over this, as you know. Sticking the nose in and busting up families. Well, we, we have to remember that social workers are only doing what they feel is best for the child. Oh, gee over, Roy. Flaming do-gooders in dungarees, that's what they are. Except they don't do any good. Well, that's a tabloid caricature and not a very helpful one at this point. Oh, would you, would you stand here and defend social all you like? I'm going up there and I ain't coming back without chess. I'm not, nobody is going anywhere. A gung-ho attitude is the last way to approach these people, as I know only too well. What, so we just, we're going to sit here and do no? No, we go through the proper channels. Our only hope of achieving anything. It was here. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, look, calm down, love, yeah? Simmer, if it's here, we'll find it. You go through your precious channels then, Roy. We'll do things your way. But when I find out who's Dob Kirk in, I'll do things mine. Peacock, yes. Yes, I made the initial report. Yeah. Yes, I know what's happened, but I didn't think... It's not what I thought. I, I just thought you'd offer them some support, because that's all they need. Yes, all right, but would you consider returning Chesney? Yes, all right. Bye. Bill, so he asked Audrey for us. Well, it's a waste of time. I'll get no more joy out of her than you have out of Gail. We'll try. I need the number. Steam me in, please. All right, all right. If it means that much to you, I'll ask. So long as that's the end of it. I'm getting sick of being about it. Yeah, well, you feel the same if you thought your missus was playing away, eh? Yeah, I suppose so. Go on, get him in. So, are you good with your hands then, are you? Very. If there's anything you want putting up, I'm your man. Depends if you've got the right tools for the job, I reckon. Nothing like class, is there? And that's nothing like it. He's flirting with me. <laughs> Hardly. Flirting's subtle. Them two about as subtle as a smack in the gut. That's what he'll be getting. He's bang out of order. Uh, not just him. It takes two to make a double arm time. <sighs> Where the hell have you been? Where the arms? And we're gonna send a search party out for you. Then I thought, no. It's them builders clogging up the bar. They're not even buying anything. They're just chatting up the bar staff. Oh, I mean, you should have sent them over here. I don't think they'd be your type. 
Uh, you'd be surprised, Kelly Crabstick. I've had many a ride on a JCB in my time. They're not rough as a bit as backside. Does that go for all builders? What if the hard hat fits? So my Roger's rough, is he? Not to mention your father-in-law. <gasps> right, now we know where Kevin gets it from. <laughs> oh. I saw the light on. Yeah, I'm waiting for Tony to come and pick me up. I thought I'd catch up on some paperwork. Well, there's enough of it. You start on some of mine if you like. Gladly. If I knew the state of play with Tony's order. Why don't you get it from the horse's mouth? I'm sure if you give him enough sugar lumps, he'll fill you in. Now, you know me and Tony don't like mixing business with pleasure. Mm. That's an interesting turn of phrase, but what does it mean exactly? Because if talking about a knicker order is going to shatter your relationship, maybe you've got bigger problems, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but we are going great guns. We just like to keep each other on our toes. You know, it makes us happy. No one gets hurt. So long as it doesn't hurt the business. I can't believe you've been living like this. I don't know. Could eat your dinner off this floor. All three courses. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Sorry. Me and Les lived in worse. Yeah, well, that was different, Kirk. Les was an adult. Could have fooled me. What's the score? Uh, yeah. Well, we, we've got to get over there straight away before the office closes. Are we picking chairs up? I, I, I don't know. Um, they were very evasive, but they have promised to explain everything to us and uh, tell us where we go from here. Chesney comes home. End of. Uh, hopefully, y yes. Yeah. It's got to. It's got to, Roy. <laughs> I mean, if only I'd let Chesney move in above the salon, none of this would have happened. Oh, do you don't? And so many if, buts and maybes. I ain't even been in there until today. What kind of sister does that make me? It makes you a flaming, sensible man to be if things were as rough as you reckon. Ah, Kirk means well. I just think that he's let things get on top of him. Well, in which case, we can only conclude that uh, social services have done the correct thing. You are? Surely he's better off in a, a clean, caring environment. What would you know about looking after kids? I know, the last time Chesney did his paper round in the rain, I had to tell him to take the dog out of the shop because of the smell. So what? Turned out it wasn't the dog. It were you what called social, wasn't it? <laughs> Most certainly was not. Look, I, I, I'm not an exhibit, you know. I hope for your sake you're telling the truth, little man. I'm off over there. To do what exactly? He's taking liberties of me bird. Oh, have you word yourself? Talk about caveman. Shut up and drink your pint, punk. Every time I walk past that site, I get whistled. Every single day. And I bet it's not even on your way home. <laughs> Do you really think it impresses women? Why do you do it? Oh, it's a professional thing. You what? Oh, yeah. When we see something as well built as you, well, we can't help but show our appreciation. <laughs> Is that right? Oh, yeah. Mind you, I wouldn't mind getting my spirit level out on those. Spirit level? Yeah, but that one needs to come up a bit, I think. Look out! Oh, yeah. Right, that's it. Uh, Daryl? Oi! What's your problem, mate? What's it to you? What? Hey! All right, lads, that's enough. Hey, would you like what you've done? Oh, come on. It's not worth getting your head kicked in for that little slacker. I'll be sending you the dry cleaning bill for this. No problem, babe. As long as it's got your number on it. <laughs> Aren't you? Put your eyes back in. Yeah, I was sort of looking at a bra. Yeah, I know. No, no, you, you misunderstand. It's, it's one of ours. Uh, you'd better get a top from Michelle. We haven't got a license for him. Flipping get one, then. Huh? I wouldn't mind if I was getting paid overtime. I'm sorry, the meeting overrun. Obviously. Who are you seeing anyway? Oh, sorry, does that break our code of practice? I don't believe so, no. I was in with my accountant. Nice little investment opportunity on the go. Another property deal? Well, after a fashion. Well, is it local? Well, pretty much. Good. Is there a way enough as it is? 
Now, enough of our business. Let's crack on with the pleasure, shall we? I'm going to let you choose where you take me for dinner. Do I have these, James? Glad to see you're doing your bit for the local economy. You are? You're proud. You support Underworld. Underworld supports you. Everyone's happy. I beg your pardon, but this isn't from your sweatshop. It's Chic Bird. Chic Bird? It's a new one on me. Mm, me and all. I certainly don't supply them. Must be knockoff. Where'd you get it? From a knicker party, if you must know. Very upmarket and totally legit. Have a look at the label if you don't believe me. <coughs> right. I've um, got the knickers and all. No, 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 I've seen enough, thanks. Definitely something dodgy going on. Is it okay if I have that? It means that much to you. Come through. How do you get on? You dropped chess off of the house, yeah? Well, it wasn't as simple as that, Mother. But, but what did they say? Oh, what's it got to do with you? Was it... I have an interest too, you know. He is my employee. I'm stuck him in foster care. Oh, oh. For, for a few days initially, unless we can contact Fist. He'll be released to her as soon as she returns. I've got to get hold of her. I need the hotel number. Well, what are we waiting here for? Come on, we've got to turn that place upside down. It already is, from what I hear. I'm warning you. Tina, waiting for David? Um, no, Gail actually, to arrange stuff for tomorrow. All oh, right, yes, so, how are you doing, sweetheart? You know, I know it probably doesn't feel like it just now, but you are doing the best thing. You're right, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right at all. Okay. kept you waiting. Are you having second thoughts, my darling? Tina? Um, no. Well, no. Not second thoughts, exactly. Because if you're having any doubts at all, you mustn't go through with it. Yeah, you know, girl is absolutely right. Once it's done, I mean, there's no point. I know. Thanks. I suppose I'm nervous, that's all. Frightened. Well, that's only natural. But if it's any more than that, if you don't want to do this... I don't. But I have to. I'm not ready to be a mum. Not now, not yet. There you go. Still warm. Hot, more like. They've tied about with it, but it's definitely been whipped from our factory. In fact, looks like a second. A reject? Mm-hmm. Well, no wonder that bloke thought I was lopsided. I look all right to you, don't I? Fine. So, uh, do I get a replacement? For knock-off gear, I don't think so, love. So where was this party, then? I want to find out who's behind this. Sorry. I'm many things, but I'm not a grass. Got your bra back. Be happy. Don't worry, mate. It's not mine. I just got it off Lauren. Not literally. Not like that. She took a top off earlier, and I noticed. Forget it. I'm not even going to try explaining. <clears throat> but there's nothing funny going on. Whatever. <clears throat> so I was tricks then. Still caning Steve on the games machine. Yeah, he's even more useless than you. Oi, less of the useless. So you're all right then? Yeah. Mum's a bit much sometimes. Feels she has to make up because she feels bad about missing Alex. Mm, I suppose that's part of it, yeah. But she don't miss him half as much as she misses you, believe me. She cares about you, mate, and she's worried. She told me about the pictures. It was just a quick flick through him. It didn't mean anything. It wouldn't matter if it did. I'd want to know more in your shoes. And you do, don't you? Well, yeah, we have since kick-off. Then why the hell didn't you tell us? Well, this is riveting, I must say. What? All you need is a pair of knitting needles in your hand. Oh, shut up. Do you a drink? Oh, what? A nice spot of tea. <laughs> I'm worried about you. I'm fine. Are you? Look, if you're not giving me the silent treatment, then you're speaking to my mum. You know, I don't really like it. 
She'll make you old before your time. I'm, I'm just being polite. I mean, she's not that old. She can't be older than 50. Yeah, but some women are a young 50, you know, like Madonna. My mum's a young 85. Do you want a drink or not? Wait, I'm not finished, all right? Mm. Listen. I think it's time you came back to the land of the living, all right, and remembered what young people do. Oh, David, I am too tired. Whoa, all right, I'm not talking about that. I've not got a one-track mind. I thought we'd go out tomorrow night. Twing! Tickets for the fools. Oh, right. Um... I don't overdo it, will you? Let gold dust these bad boys, thought you'd be well up here. I am! You just took me by surprise. Just thought I'd be spontaneous. But if it clashes with Midsummer Murders, then I'll knock it on the head. No, no. I can't wait. Thanks. It's no good dwelling on it, love. Sorry? I know how would you've been about Chesney, but there's nothing you could have done. The social side taking there away. There's no it? need for them to go that far. Yeah, too right. I suppose things just must have been bad. I just can't help feeling that we're down to me in one way. You? Well, if I hadn't laid Kirk off, then maybe they'd have managed a bit better. The more money coming in than that. No. It was a matter of basic hygiene. Working at the shop wouldn't have helped him clean the house, do the laundry, prepare square meals. He simply couldn't cope. I had no choice. No fella. I called social services. You did? Well, someone had to do something. But I didn't think for one second they'd take Chesney away. Well, say something then. Well, I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. I didn't think it was any of our business. Ashley. I'm not going to apologise for this. I was trying to do the right thing. I know you were. But other people won't think like that. They'll think of Chesney being taken away was on your side. It safe. wasn't like that. I know it wasn't. I still think you'd best keep it quiet all the same. Any joy? Far from it. These are warning letters from the school regarding Chesney's non-attendance. Oh, Fizz told Kirk to keep an eye on that. I should have noticed. I should have anticipated something like this. Your brother, he's got a good heart, but it's not enough to bring up children, not on mm. its own. No, you're right, Ry. He's too soft. It's always been his trouble. And Chesney can wind him round his little finger. I should have stepped in earlier. If Haley had been here, none of this would have happened. She had to put a stop to it before it started. Roy. Don't keep beating yourself up or I will. I'm telling you, if social hadn't been so quick to stick their noses in they here... Did they did what they felt was necessary. It's difficult to argue with their logic. No luck, then. It's gone. And I can't reach Fizz without it. How could I be so careless? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm having none of that. And there's only one person to blame for this mess, and that is the interfering git what blew the whistle. No. No, it's down to me. Chesney's going to be stuck in care till she gets back. It's all my fault. <laughs>